Hey guys, so you may recognize this makeup look. So last week I did a Valentine's Day makeup look and this is the same look because I'm filming the videos the same day. I have about 20 minutes until I have to do a little interview. So I thought I would just kind of quickly do this because I want this to be super simple. So most of this video is going to be a voiceover showing you guys my bullet journal. But... I have made some updates since, so I kind of wanted to show you guys my bullet journal and do that. So if you guys haven't got it from my 10 times saying bullet journal or the title of the video, um, this is going to be a bullet journaling video. I am a five-year-old at drawing and my artistic abilities, so please ignore that. Literally, please ignore that. I am a beginner. I suck at drawing. I suck at everything. So please, please, please ignore that. Like, please ignore that. So I'm just going to go through my bullet journal with you guys and just kind of show you guys what's up. So I got this bullet journal from um, Barnes & Noble. It's like the Lich term 1917. It's like the most popular one. So I got mine in gray. I was either gonna do gray or black because I knew I wanted stickers. So I got my stickers off of Redbubble. Their stickers are super cheap and there's so so many designs. So this bullet journal has everything I love. <laughs> um, and then I also have the back stickered. So we have Salem and <laughs> if you guys can read it, I'm not gonna say it because there's a bad word on it, but <laughs> Um, this is Salem from um, teenage, or Sabrina the Teenage Witch. I have my hearts and stars. This is the Harry Styles butterfly tattoo because I love Harry Styles. Um, Marie Claire because she is my spirit animal. Crown because I'm a princess. Um, and then always more self-love. Definitely a little note to myself. And then the back is kind of more funny <laughs> and the ones on the back are probably shouldn't be shown to people, but it's okay. So we have Not Today Satan because, you know. Um, then we have Polaroids. Oh, I also have a little Polaroid one here, picture of the beach. So we have Polaroid pictures, um, my Dino Chicken Nugget, and then Let's Summon Demons sticker. <laughs> so that is my overall bullet journal. So I will flip through the pages with you, all the stuff I've added. So this bullet journal is really nice, so it has a table of contexts. Um, so I have quite a bit filled out already. I should probably stop filling out every single page because there's only so much table of contexts given to me. So this page, I went a little cuckoo about. <laughs> so I wanted an about me page, and then I was like, let's write my name and write stars all over it. It literally looks like a five-year-old did it. <laughs> So it has everything I love, everything about me, where I'm from, um, I love sleeping cats, I love to glow, like my makeup glowing, like right now, I'm glowing, <laughs> Harry Styles of course, Ariana Grande, always wears cardigans and jeans, so that's just a little thing, and then I did a year glance, this literally took me probably a whole hour to do, and it's not needed, it's just something that I wanted to do. So that is that. Um, and then from now on, I'll show you guys the rest of me making my bullet journal. So we have all the goals. So you guys saw me writing all my goals out. Um, I have a 2020 goals video. So just go watch that because those are all my goals. I'm not going to restate all my goals for you guys. So this page I wanted a vision board for 2020 so they are mostly based off of my goals so for example getting healthier um, eating healthier hitting 10k on Instagram more subscribers I want a new computer my psychology dream um, my motto this year is unfollow people that make you feel like shit <laughs> definitely definitely 
need to do that. I want to spend time more with my friends, so I just have pictures of girls. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is based off of my goals for 2020. Also, I'm seeing Harry Styles, so that's there. We're going to go to the beach this summer, and then me and my friend are going to Mystic Falls um, in April, so I have that. So, this layout, February layout, <laughs> I messed up on. I spelled February wrong. I spelled February wrong. Like, I may be a college graduate, but I definitely make mistakes. And then I messed up on the dates on the bottom, so I redid them and I did white out. Um, and then I wanted to have the other page, just a picture. So I printed off a picture of people holding hands because February is all about love. So the next page is the YouTube, so I added sticky notes as you guys can see so the green ones are the days I'm posting videos the blue ones are when I'm filming and the pink ones are when I'm editing so they are sticky notes because for my YouTube I mess around a lot like I was planning to film this video you're watching right now on Monday but I was like I might as well just film it right now <laughs> So it's Thursday, so I'm filming it on Thursday. So I moved this up all around. That's why I wanted sticky notes. So that is what I did. And then just some current just layouts I'll show you guys because those are mostly the ones about 2020. But my bullet journal is going to be literally just for me. Just for me. And it's going to be a lot of notes, a lot of just throwing things in there and not very... Not a lot of like planning stuff because I don't I do a lot of my planning on my phone I do a lot of my social media stuff on my phone so this is literally just gonna be notes so like I said me and my friend are going to Mystic Falls so I have the dates we're going the flight the hotel we already booked those so I wrote down the prices we still need to get a car and we're gonna go on a tour um, so that's kind of like my budget page and then I have things to do so, of course, the Mystic Grill, going to the Clock Tower, going to the Lockwood Mansion, Elena's House, Salvatore House. I need to add a ton more to that list, but that's basically that. So, as you guys know, I am job searching. Hopefully, by this video, I have a job because I have four interviews this week. I've already done one. I have one in 30 minutes, and then I have two tomorrow. So, hopefully, by the end of this week, I have a job, and by the time you're watching this video, I'm set. So when I was doing my job search, I looked up a bunch of titles that I can do. So I put a job title page, and then this one is action verbs for resumes, because to every job you should tailor your resume. So I put a bunch of action verbs because those are really great at the beginning of the sentence. So I have just a ton of action verbs. This page looks really bad, but like I said, I'm a five-year-old. <laughs> So I'm not going to show you guys this play, this page a lot. This is just places to apply. So all the places that I looked up, places that I want to apply, the places, places that wanted me, and then the places that I kind of wanted. So all of those I just put applied when I applied it. And then that's that. I have another page just like that because I applied for a lot. And then this, um, these ones are really... Um, great for me so when I have an interview I like to have the whole page and I write down about the position I write down who I'm doing the interview with I write down about the hours the pay sometimes if that's labeled and about the company in case the company asks hey what are we about I know exactly um, the interview that I had yesterday made me watch two videos before so I wrote down those notes um, and then another one, when I got this interview, I wrote down a page of just interview tips. So I have like, bring your resume, be positive, tie answers back to your skills, clarify selling points, ask about the next step, research the place, be calm, eye contact, practice, think positive. There's a lot more on there. 
And then I always forget this, and I just implemented a new skincare system, so I did skincare steps. So if you guys are curious, you start with your cleanser, you go to your toner, you do your mask, you do your treatment, you do your serum, you do the eye gel slash cream, moisturizer, and then SPF. And then I have a terrible drawing of a face, like it's very terrifying. <laughs> And then the last two pages that I have on here right here, uh, this, these are the interviews that I have tomorrow. So turning point, I still have to fill this out. And then another one. This is actually today's interview. So like I said, that is my bullet journal. It is basically purely for me. This will probably honestly be the only bullet journal video I will do because the other bullet journaling videos that I see really popular are like planning videos and that's just not what I'm doing. I'm not using this as a planner. I'm solely using this as my notes and my job search, vacation. It will also be part of my grad stuff. So I could maybe do a video later on about all of the spreads that I have in here, but I absolutely love this journal. It has been so helpful, so useful. And I just really enjoy using it and just carrying it around. It's so much fun. So, yes, that is going to be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next week. Oh, also, what I always have to do at the end of the video. If you like this video, please subscribe down below. If you want to see more of my face, subscribe. And also follow my Instagram so you can see more of me. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye! And it goes a little yeah. something like...